Welcome back to Kings Norton Golf Course down in Birmingham. I'm playing the yellow course today, just nine holes. I'm an 18 handicapper, so I'll get nine shots on this nine. First drive, not too good. A little bit of a slice out to the right. Um, that leaves us with about 120 yards to the front, which is where the pin is. So I hit an eight iron, even chunk it, land it a bit short, but... For some reason, it just ran and ran and ran all the way to the back of the green, which I was quite shocked at. So I've got this to get up and down for par. Decent chip, a little bit outright, but leaves us roughly pin high, gives us a chance for par. We give a positive put, make the par on the first hole. We're very happy with that. Onto the second hole, which is a quite a long downhill par four. And this is going to, I'm going to spoil it now. This is my best drive of the day. Absolutely straight. Drawing a little bit. Perfect for this hole. Leaves me with about 170 to the middle. So I'll pull a 7 iron. Um, just because I'm scared of going long after the last hole. But I bail out a bit right and didn't get the greatest connection. So I've got another up and down for par. A decent enough chip. I was thinking it was going to feed off to the right. So I did aim left. So that was pretty much exactly how I imagined it. But it just didn't work out. So I've got this par put. Just misses on the low side. And luckily we make the bogey comebacker. So we won over through two. We'll take that. It's a decent start. Got a really short par four now. The easiest hole I've played of the three. But by, by, by far the worst drive. Big slice over the trees onto the right. So here I was trying to hit an 8 iron over the trees to get it back in play. And then I've just hit two really bad shots. So now I've got roughly 60 yards in. Once again, really scared of being long. So I leave it more short. So I've played four really bad shots and that shows you. The fifth, also not that good, which does run on forever, which is exactly what I was scared of. <sighs> this put for six, it's all just going bad, from, from bad to worse. Decent put, lips out, got this for a seven, which is a triple bogey. Don't even make that, bit of a pull. And I angrily tap it in for a quad bogey. You hate to see it. But you have to just carry on. This is a nice hole, 186 yard par three downhill, but it was into wind, so I clubbed up a bit. But I just straight pull it into the bunker. Now I'll just let this play and uh, you can see my reaction. Oh my god! Oh. Thank you very much. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my god. See, it all tilts that way. I was really just hoping to keep it on the green. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I hope you enjoyed that hole out as much as I did. Um, that was probably the first time I've ever holed out of a bunker, I think. So really happy with that birdie. We move on to this short par five. I wouldn't class it as a par five, but I still play it as a par five. Really bad drive. Out to the right again. I'm really struggling with this slice today. I don't know why. And then I'm just playing it back four position over the trees but i was scared it didn't make it over this little pond that you'll see in a bit later um there you go on the right but it was perfectly in the middle of the fairway got a third shot to get on the green give myself a birdie chance and once again i leave it short that first hole just absolutely scarred me and as you can see from her action i wasn't too happy with that so Got this to get up and down for par. Long put, 
this whole this green really does tilt a lot so hard to get the read overhit it so still got like a 10 footer for a par and then just hit this a little bit short bit, bit of a better pace we might have went in but make the bogey and we move on so now another tough par four uphill 400 yards almost in this one was downwind though so we had that advantage but once again leaving it way out right crossing over the fairways so i'll give give myself five iron in hand not not aiming to get on the green just to get it back over and near the green leave it bit right so now i've got this tough chip with the bunker covering the pins just short uh, on the front so we were short-sided so you got this long putt for par under read it so but happy with the putt nevertheless only got a four footer for par, uh, bogey and i don't know how that doesn't go in so we make a double bogey that puts us back to seven over through six look so we just need to shake the bad golf off now we've got an easy par three downhill 150 yards it was into wind so i clubbed up a little bit more than i usually would hit it really pure online but it lands at the pin, bounces over, gives me this tough uphill shot, which I absolutely knife. And as you can see from my face, I'm not looking too happy. But this chip was pretty decent. Gives me a chance to save bogey and just get out of here. About five foot. Bit of right to left in it, but I just don't give it enough pace to get it in the hole. So that's another double bogey back to back. We're on the eighth hole, 316 yard par four really short hole here so i just take out free iron because was hitting the driver with a bit of a slice but that puts me under these trees which means i can't hit it at the green otherwise i'm putting the bunker in play and the trees above so i just chip out leave myself a little wedge and what do i do once again leave it more short i was really getting frustrated here now unfortunately the, the camera does glitch here um it runs out of battery after this shot so i hit another shot from this bunk um after the bunker get it to here and then the battery dies again made the putt though so that was another double bogey and we're on the final hole ninth hole 500 yards par five straight down Be probably the second best drive of the day nice and straight a little bit high so a yard a bit of yardage was taken off but i can just hit free iron here and be happy with it and I hit it really good actually. Goes about 210 yards, gets a bit of a bounce on, and we've just got about 60 yards here. And I just said to myself, I've got to commit to this wedge shot because I've left all of the others short. It's on the middle of the green, so I've got some green to work with. And I do for once, and thankfully, leave it on a high note, stick it to four foot. Got this put for birdie. And let's see if I make it. And I do, so that was a good way to end the, the round, even though it was a pretty poor round. Gross 10 over, net 1 over, which doesn't sound too bad, but with two birdies, could have been way better. But thanks for watching, I've really enjoyed making these kind of videos, I'm going to do more, so subscribe if you liked it. Leave a comment, let me know what I can improve on, it really does help, it helped on the last video, so yeah, cheers.